So today we are reviewing the True Heart Intuitive Tarot. And if you've been following me, you'll know that somebody sent me 21 mini decks to review and I'm very grateful for it. Um, the mini decks do not come with the guidebook. Uh, you have to kind of like scan this QR code to get it. But some of them, when you scan it, you don't, <laughs> you don't get a PDF book, <laughs> just so you know, it's just not there. So um, I highly recommend just buying the original. Um, if you want to support the channel, the links for below are going to be for the originals. But some of these mini decks I actually love, like this one, because the cards are like pretty big. Whereas like the original deck will have cards like this, right? Which are the traditional Oracle cards. But the mini deck's a little bit smaller. They're easier to shuffle. They're easier to use. So I'm keeping a lot of these for myself, but I'm also giving away a lot of them after reviewing them to you guys. So when I get to 50 subscribers, if you'd like to subscribe, uh, I'm going to give away this Cosmic Slumber mini deck. And you can just put uh, Cosmic Slumber in the comments uh, after you subscribe, and I will know that you're interested in the deck. And when I get to 50 subscribers, I'm going to put all the names in a bowl, shake it up, and then pick a name and send them the deck. Uh, for every, you know, when I get to 50 subscribers, 100 subscribers, 150 and 200, I'm going to give away tarot decks. And then after that, we'll see what happens. So let's get started with this one. I, I know that I'm keeping this and using it right away just from the first picture. So you have the one and the two of cups. Uh, ace and the two of cups. Isn't that beautiful? I already know I'm going to keep this. is beautiful. Three and the four of cups. The lovers are, are, are even in the three of cups. And look, the blue eye, the person. In uh, Indian folklore, they have blue and red people. Five and the six of cups. They have great imagery, you know, like just uh, metaphorically. Seven and the eight of cups. I love this deck already. The Nine and the Ten of Cups. Princess and the Knight of Cups. And I like how they have the water here, which symbolizes cups. The Queen and the Kin of Cups. The Ace and the Two of Swords. Oh my gosh. Wait till you see the Three of Swords. Wait till you see this Three of Swords. Three and the Four of Swords. Did you ever see the movie Big Trouble in Little China? I highly recommend it. It's a great movie. It's hysterical. The eye that at the end of the movie that starts... Mm. The, uh, here we go again. The Five and the Six of Swords. I don't want to even remember what I saw. I want to forget everything that happened. The Seven and the Eight of Swords. Oh, that looks like every Japanese horror movie character. Right? Like the ring. Oh, this is, this is serious. The Nine and the Ten of Swords. This one's really interesting. Ace and the two, I mean the princess and the knight of swords. I'm keeping this deck. <laughs> the, the queen and the king of swords. I love this deck. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something happened. Hold on. The princess and the prince, right? Which is the page and the knight. It should be like that. And then you have the queen. Sorry, that was stuck together. And the king of swords. She told him to sit down. She's like, sit down. And the king sat down like... <laughs> the ace and the two of swords. I can't even. I have so much fun with everything in my life. I'm a giant child. My inner child never went away. The three and the four. If anything, anytime I was ever anywhere I needed to be serious, I was just like, just sit down. Just sit down until this is over and then you, we can go play, you know? <laughs> 
the five and the six of wands. I love this Medusa. Oh my God. It doesn't really remind me of the conflict that comes with the five of wands, but I just love that imagery. And I don't really like anything dark, but like that was really art. That was beautiful. A lot of these are art. Seven and the eight of wands. Mental anxiety. Okay, this is a little bit uh, for people that don't like to see nudity. Uh, you might want to skip this one. The nine and the ten of wands. I'm reviewing a tarot deck, so please, YouTube, do not um, flag me for profanity. I'm reviewing the deck. I didn't make this deck. It, why is there a person in here? Ten of wands. It's being stressed out, but the person in the B, I don't get that. Does anybody understand what that means? The page and the knight of wands. He's writing the phoenix. Like, dude is writing a phoenix. Queen and the king. I love all this. And she has multiple arms. Get out of here. She's getting everything done. She's taking action. She's like, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. I'm going to, I'm doing it all. Then you have the ace and the, is that dices? Discs. Sorry, pentacles. The ace and the two of discs. Oh, I like that they have two people here. That's really kind of cute. Very cute. Three and the four of discs, pentacles. Building his little tent. That's adorable. The butterfly should be helping him though. The five and the six. This one's weird. Again, with the eye thing. Seven and the eight. Some of these are really amazing, and some of them are. Some of these are like, what the, what, why? Someone's pregnant. It looks like she doesn't know who the father is. That's crazy. That's crazy. The nine and the ten of discs. This is just where my brain goes when I'm reading tarot, or maybe the person that actually. That's interesting with the peacocks. That printed this deck or box this deck it's their energy the page and the prince of discs the slowest moving knight in the deck the queen and the king of discs i love it when the cards have like you know like um borders this is the fool and the magician that are cohesive with the suit so that you don't mistake like a wand with a sword the high priestess and the empress the emperor and the higher font The Lovers and the Chariot. The Strength and the Hermit. The Hermit's a girl on this one. Nice. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Wheel of Fortune and Justice. That's an interesting Wheel of Fortune. Because you have the eagle and the snake, which I've been seeing a lot in a lot of like movies and shows. That there's a TV show, Maya and the Three. It's a cartoon. The Hanged Man and the Death. And they have the eagle and the snake multiple times in that cartoon. I should probably look it up. That might be a sign for me. Temperance and the Devil. Oh my god, that is creepy. Sorry about that. I did not build this deck this is just me reviewing it and this is what's in there the tower and the star and mind you these things don't offend me again another provocative one I can't control it um but just because YouTube is very strict sometimes the moon and the sun it just depends on who you come across or who comes across your video and what mood they're in the judgment and the world. Oh, look at that. 
I like that. Okay, so now we're gonna do our two card reading that we do at the end of every single review. Shuffle three to four times. If this is the message that's for the readers that made it to the end of the video. It's a good shuffle, because otherwise you'll get like consecutive cards next to each other. Oh, that flew out very quickly for you guys. The Wheel of Fortune. Something is coming full circle for you. Fortune is favoring you. Can you clarify this Wheel of Fortune for favor? Uh, if you do like my channel, please use the links below. Um, it helps to support the channel if you buy the cards from those links. If you choose not to, there's a donation button. Feel free to do that. I'll use the money to go ahead and buy more tarot card decks. Um, and then for the... Um, you want to send me tarot card decks you could do that like this person sent me 21 decks I'm so happy and i'm going to do a giveaway when i get to 50 subscribers i'm giving away this one the cosmic slumber to you guys so please go ahead and do that um i have a tarot channel if you want to book a reading or see what my readings are like um called the tarot cheerleader and so we have the wheel of fortune can you please clarify the wheel of fortune Seven of Cups, options. Fortune is favoring you, giving you options that you didn't have before, giving you a lifestyle that you didn't have before, giving you a new cycle that's gonna give you far more than you ever expected. So for the, those of you that made it to the end of this, get excited and get excited for new opportunities that are gonna present themselves to you that you didn't have the opportunity to have before. Uh, they're gonna give you more options, more choices, and in my opinion, from what I'm getting, is just a little bit of an upgrade in your the way that you're living. Uh, but that's what I got for you. Rock and roll. Thank you so much. And may God bless you. Have a good day.